Hi, welcome back once again. In today's session, I am going to cover how to take backup in 48 Firewall. So this is the topology I am using, but this is not really uh, required because I am just taking the backup. So I will log into the firewall and uh, tell you that how to take the backup. But before that, uh, let's understand that why basically we need backup in any of the firewalls or like uh, any of the system, right? So the very first requirement is that let's suppose you are doing any changes, right? And your change goes wrong. So in order to restore that whatever the configuration was before that you can restore if you take the backups another thing is like let's suppose you get hit with any of the malicious attempt or something goes wrong somebody has changed some configuration or because of unwanted changes it could be like malicious attempt and then you restore your services whatever the backup was taken before right Another thing is like how to or when to take the backup. So always backup should be regular. Should not be the case that you took the backup once in a year and you forget it because you might have done lot of changes in your environment and those are not covered in that because if you're not taking the regular backups. So it's very important that uh, you take it weekly at least but if you take uh, too much like daily that's also fine but just make sure that it's not overloading the storage of your network right so another thing is like how you take the backup so this is like when you take the backup another thing is like uh, how you take the backup so one thing is like if you have less number of devices in your network you can go for the manual backup that's what i'm going to tell you today that how to take the backups manually but in case you have the large environment like suppose the 2000 or 3000 or like 100 devices it's not really uh, good to take the 48 firewall backup in the manual ways right so you go for the automation so that's i'm not going to cover in this session i will just help you to take the manual backup channel right? so these are the requirement that why basically we take the backups in 48 firewalls and uh, how to take it the backup in 48 firewall, right so let me switch to my topology what i was using before all right so let's see this is basically my topology but it's just not really relevant because i'm not going to uh going in his firewall policy and uh, make any changes or ultra authentication and all right so i'm just simply log into this firewall i'm going to go here and uh, you'll use my admin login to do that okay and uh, Oh, I forgot my password. Here we go. So this is like uh, very simple configurations are there. There's nothing complex in this. And uh, before you take the backup, it's really important that you should be having the admin privileges or the super user login. If you don't have the admin privileges or super user login, then you cannot take the firewall backups. So. If you want to take the backup, just go to the drop down, right? If you see that right top corner here in admin, because I'm logged on as an admin user, right? So you need to go to this admin here. And inside that admin, you see this option of the configuration, right? So if I go to this configuration in the drop downs, I see three options backup, restore, and revisions. So I can go to the backup here. And as I open, there's two options to take the backups. I can take the backup in the local device or i can take it for the usb stick so currently you see that local pc is enabled and the usb disk is gayed out it's not enabled right now right so local pc means that i can take the backups on my pc and usb disk option is enabled only when the usb is connected to the device so i'm using my evng labs that's basically a virtual image on virtual machine so it is not the uh, I know I cannot uh, connect the USB disk on that, but is, if you are using any of the hardware devices, let's suppose 1500D, 48 firewall you're using, there you have an option of the USB stick. You can connect it. Once you connect it, it will be highlighted and you can take the 48 firewall backup on the USB disk as well. So this was the how 
or where to store that one but uh, whenever we take the backup there are two options you can take the backups encrypted or unencrypted so if you go with this phase if you just simply click ok in this phase it means that it will take the normal backup without encryption right so right now i'm just downloading this one backup i click ok and this document like this configuration backup is not encrypted okay so i just uh, hit it on the notepad and uh, let me show you that what i have got so let me put it here okay so that's how it will open you see that all the configuration you can view it here from the configuration file uh, what i have just downloaded okay and uh, okay you can see that uh, whatever the ip addresses are configured on the ports port 1 port 2 port 3 and all the configuration not only ports you can see all the configuration for your device you can refer it and if you want to change some of them you can change it accordingly and if you want to restore it you, you have that option here go to the configuration and restore it as usual but uh, if you want to go for the encrypted backup and that is really recommended whenever you are storing your backup to the third pass multi places right so in that case you enable that encryption here on the 48 firewall it asks you the password i can set it let's suppose one two three four five and hit ok and my backup is downloaded with the extension of .conf if i just open this one and as usual i will open it here on the notepad and if i click ok you see that whatever the file i open i cannot read it why because it was really encrypted i cannot read it right without decryption so you need an decryptor tool or something like really complex and for that also you need the password without password you cannot decrypt it right so only you can restore or uh, like if you restore this one again you need the password so that 48 firewall understand because it has encrypted by itself now let's talk about the restoration that how to restore the backup so if i go to here configuration i will restore whenever i go for the restore it goes for the upload i can upload it whatever i just downloaded so if i go for the recently encrypted file which i downloaded i'm not putting the password though i put it but uh, i'm not putting it just to demonstrate you that uh, what happens right if i click ok here it's giving me some of the message and i click ok then it is giving me a ribbon it's saying that invalid configuration file or the password required right it, it has detected that uh, it needs a password so this time i will put the password one two three four five click ok it will take a reboot because it's told like restoring or global system conferencing will cause a device to reboot or sure you want to continue so i don't want to reboot it now but obviously it will take a reboot and all the configuration will be okay so or let's do it it will be a very quick one not a problem So I think it will come up as usual. Uh, That's uh, not a problem. And here we go. Uh, I log on my firewall. And that's it. Whatever the configuration was there, it will be restored it here. So that was about that how to take the backups in 48 firewall if you have any question feel free to write in the comment section i will be really happy to help you or you will want like any other sessions to be recorded here okay all right see you soon in the next video till that bye bye